no matter where. Of comfort, no men speak. Let's talk of graves, of worms, and epitaphs. Make dust our paper, and with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. And yet not so, for what can we bequeath, save our deposit bodies to the ground, our lands, our lives, and all our bowling brooks? <laughs> and nothing can we call our own but death, and that small motto of the barren earth, which serves as paste and cover to our bones. For God's sake, let's sit upon the ground. And tell sad stories of the death of kings, how some have been deposed, some slay in war, some hunted by the ghosts they have deposed, some poisoned by their wives, some sleeping killed, and murdered. For within the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of a king keeps death his court, and there the attic sits. Scoffing his state, and grinning at his pomp, allowing him a breath, a little scene, to Mordecai's, be feared, and kill with looks, infusing him with self and vain conceit, as if this flash which walls about our life were brass and impregnable, and humor thus. Comes at last, and with a little pin, boards through his castle wall, and farewell, king. Cover your heads, and mock not flesh and blood, with solemn reverence. <laughs> Throw away respect, tradition, form, and ceremonious duty, for you have but mistook me all this while. I live with bread like you. If you want, taste grief, need friends. Subjected thus, how can you say to me, I am a king? Thank you.